Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slade here. Back with another unboxing, and today we have something from the good folks over at Off White. Now, this is the first time that I've actually ordered anything directly from Off White. All the other Off White stuff that I have, I've either won from Nike or it's been gifted to me. Uh, but this pair I actually bought from Off White, and uh, for a person that has never bought anything, the presentation is actually pretty nice. As you can see, it comes in a really big, nondescript box. I thought it was going to be something a little cooler, but you have the little Off White tape right there, so uh, without further ado, let's pop this open and uh, see what's inside. Now, I've actually been pretty excited about these shoes. Now, I didn't think these were going to sell out, but they ended up selling out on Nike, which I'm really excited that they actually had these on the Off-White store. One of the homies sent me the link when these went live, and they know that I am a runner, and so, they let me know and I hopped right in to buy myself a pair. And as you can see, comes in the cool off-white box, which is always a good touch. The all silver joint, which is super clean. Uh, for those that don't know, this is the Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent Off-White. It is technically a running shoe, or better yet, I should say it's a training shoe. It isn't necessarily a running shoe. It's made for training your everyday sort of running shoe versus the Alpha Fly, which is the actual running shoe. Now, I, I, I was excited about these again because I'm a runner. Most of you guys know I ran a marathon. So when I found out that Virgil was doing something on an actual performance running shoe versus like legacy product, because everything it seems like he's done for Nike has been all on legacy or lifestyle product. He did the Vapor Street, the Air Jordan 1, and all of those lifestyle sneakers, but this is like his stepping into the world of actual performance performance and here you go yeah see now the thing that i love about this is i know some of you guys you're not gonna like this but that's okay because i personally like them now this is again the training version of the shoe this is your everyday runner so if you run this is the version of the shoe that you're going to get. And from what I can tell, this is pretty true to the actual training shoe. I have a pair around here somewhere and I'll, I'll pull them out, but this is the actual training shoe. Only thing that has really changed for the most part is the upper. So he took the fly knit that you have here on the upper and he's added a bunch of different colors and made it feel a little bit more deconstructed. And then the other thing is the spikes here on the bottom. So he added traditional track spikes here to give it more of an actual track shoe feel if that's something that you're into. Uh, everything else seems to be pretty much the same. You have the two zoom pods, which are here on the lateral side and on the medial side. And then you have the Zoom X. And I, I talk about this a lot, but Zoom X is Nike's lightest and most responsive foam that they have. It was engineered from some sort of like aeronautical purpose. It was some like spaceship, something that they use. And Nike used that to put it inside of a performance shoe, which is this shoe. Well, obviously there's a couple of other shoes. There was like the Vaporfly shoe that Ulip Kipchoge wore when he got the two hour and two minute uh, time when he was running the marathon. But for this one, again, this is just a training shoe. This is not the marathon shoe. The Alpha Fly is the marathon shoe. This is for you when you wanna just get your everyday runs in. And you have Zoom X, you have a ton of it here. And according to Nike, Zoom X is 85% responsive or it gives 85% of an energy return. Now that, that doesn't necessarily mean it's returning 85% of the energy, but the energy that's spent when you run it's supposed to help maintain 85% of that when the spring back. These have a carbon fiber plate on the inside. You can't really see it here, but you can feel it when you squeeze the sides of the shoe. You can feel the plate that's there. And it has a little, bounce. it gives the shoe a little bit of bounce, you can see right there, which gives you a little snap back when you run. Now the reason they call this the next percent is because it's supposed to give you, it's supposed to help you improve your running, your PRs and stuff like that by a percentage. The Alpha Fly is supposed to be 4%, that's why it was called the 4%. It's supposed to improve your running um, efficiency by 4%. So this one just says next percent. So I don't think Nike actually has a detailed number of what it is for this shoe, but it is a great 
training shoe and I love that they took a lifestyle intent or a lifestyle sort of take on it. So you have the off-white laces with a different color. It says shoelaces like they typically do. Then on the inside, you have the off-white for Nike Air Zoom Tempo Next Present. Uh, Posted to say Portland, Oregon right there, but you can't really see it. So you can see it right there where they have all the details about the shoe for the running and all of that. So I, I think it looks really great. I think they did a terrific job with it. I think Virgil did a good job. The Nike swoosh is actually drawn on. It's not like sewn into the shoe. So it's like done with the marker, which I think is a great touch. Now they did that a little bit with the Vapor Street. That's the one that I took the plastic off of. If you haven't seen that, why don't you check out that video where I took the plastic off and I really like the way that that came out. But this one, it's actually drawn on. I would actually would put it, would have preferred if they would have drew it on to the Vapor Street as well, because on the medial lateral side of my Vapor Street, there's no Nike swoosh. It's only on the inside. So you kind of want that yellow Nike swoosh on the Vapor Street, but it's not there. Now again, all fly knit. So the upper is pretty soft you have off-white stuffing paper which is a cool touch and then you actually have can I get this out of here you have off-white on the insoles and then they actually have the zoom X here as well but this is the zoom X scraps so you can see a little bit there where they have like the scraps of zoom X and they kind of pressure treat them all together to make the insole so again you have that extra bounce so again when it comes to performance these are pretty much everything you want from Nike as far as technology goes in a running shoe. You have the Zoom X, you have the two Zoom pods, one on the lateral side, one on the medial side. You have the plate that's on the inside that gives you that extra pop. And then you actually have Zoom X again on the insole to give you a little bit more cushion and a, good, a little bit more uh, response as far as it goes when, when you're running and stepping down onto the shoes. I actually really enjoy running in these. Uh, well, not this pair in particular, but uh, running in my normal pair. I don't think I'll actually run in these because of the spikes, but I will wear these casually. Uh, I think it's just a cool look. I think the shoes look cool and that like that high stance and the very sort of sport performance look and you mix that with like a casual lifestyle look. I think that's really dope. And then of course you have the final touch, which is the off-white tag. You know, it can't be an off-white if you don't have the tag there and then the addition of the blue laces. Uh, anyway, I was looking for these online and on eBay right now. They're selling for about 40 to $50, I would say, over retail. So it's not crazy if you wanted to get yourself a pair, if you wanted something different from the off-white world, but was still off-white, but wasn't like the hype stuff and wasn't just like a Jordan 1 or a Dunk or something like that. Not that there's anything wrong with those, but this just gives you a different perspective on off-white and what they can do. And I like it. I like the distressed, the, the unfinished look and the marker and all of that. I think it just gives the shoe a very cool vibe. Anyway, I uh, just want to give you guys a quick look at those. As always, I'm Jacques Slade. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe if you like what you see here. Uh, and if you want to, why don't you go ahead and share the video with someone that you think would be interested in performance versions of off-white shoes. Maybe this is a new world for Virgil where we'll see him doing more actual performance footwear as opposed to just lifestyle stuff and adding a touch of that coolness and that lifestyle vibe to Nike athletes, which I think would be really, really dope. Anyway, as always, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.